I'm Melissa. Hi, I'm Jillian. Hi, I'm David. And together we're Disabled Disventures. I have several medical conditions that limit my mobility. I call myself an ambulatory wheelchair user. I use a wheelchair or a mobility scooter anytime I'm outside the house in order to get around. I like to say that we're a disability lifestyle and travel. We do videos on theme parks, cruise ships, and other places that we visit. So come with us on our next adventure. On our recent trip to Disneyland, Jillian and I had an opportunity to go to Universal Studios Hollywood in California. And so this video is about Universal Studios Hollywood in California um, and our day or, well, a few hours that we actually spent there. Yeah, it was like three hours we were there. So um, this was kind of a crazy day um, where we were going to just go spend the morning at Universal Studios and then go back to Disneyland in the afternoon, well, the evening, in the late afternoon and evening. Um, and we had a crazy time with our uber trying to get there but for right now um we are going to hear from the video sp sponsor surf shark and um tell you all about that this video is sponsored by surf shark a vpn it is so important nowadays to protect your internet privacy and your data especially if you're out using public networks we do this using Surfshark. It's a VPN that allows you to protect this information when using public networks. If you subscribe through our link below, you will get two months free and a discount on your plan, and we will make a small commission. So we had hard, kind of a hard time trying to get an Uber that morning, so we were delayed. We weren't there until like noon, even though we had planned to be there earlier. But a it lot, was what it is. A lot earlier. So I really like how when you walk up, you're basically walking the red carpet into Universal Hollywood Studios. Yeah, that, that, I felt really fancy <laughs> going into a theme park. And we only did go on one attraction, which was The Secret Life of Pets. Um, didn't we get a, didn't, weren't we going to get a return time for Despicable Me? And then they were like, it's going to be like an hour wait. And you're like, yeah, yeah, no. So I went and got the disability card, which for Universal is a paper card you have to go to guest services to get. So when we got there, we went in and went and got a return time for the Secret Life of Pets. And we were all hungry because by now it was lunchtime. And um, so we decided to go get lunch. We went to... Um, Three broomsticks? Yeah, in Harry Potter. Harry, Land? Yeah, so Hog, it, it was kind of on the other no, side. No, Hogsmeade is in the other one. Um, well, no, they do. No, it is Hogsmeade. Oh. Um, it's kind of on the other side of the park. So yeah. from where it was, so like we walked. Yeah this this is this is Harry Potter Land. Um. Yeah, it is Hogsmeade. Oh yeah 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 because. The other park on the other side of the U.S. has Hogsmeade, and then it has Diagon Alley, right. which is part of London. Right, and this, this one didn't have London, it just had <clears throat> the Hogsmeade and the facade for the train station. Um, yeah, so you couldn't ride the train here, because they don't have the train going here. It's no, just... but you can go take a picture with the conductor if they got it, if, if he's out. Yes, and we did that. Um had a picture with Jillian. It's at the end of the video. So we went to Three Broomsticks to have lunch. So the food is like the exact same as it is East Coast, West Coast from what it seems like. Um, from what I saw in anyway. For my first experience, this was pretty good. <laughs> and just so you know, it is kind of tight in there. I was in the wheelchair. Jillian was having a hard time pushing me, especially because it, tr it, it gets was really dark, dark. And I couldn't see. And so her glasses are transition. So most of this, you'll, you'll see us like slow down a little bit in the video and stop. And, and this stop. is where it's switching from me to her because now I'm wheeling myself yeah, cause, through. Cause I could, I could not see any of this. I, the reason why it's pointed at the ground right now is because I was helping her get around this corner, but like I could not see anything. <laughs> yeah. Her transitions hadn't transitioned to the dark yet. <laughs> yeah, no. Allow her to see. So she had dark sunglasses, and it was really it's really dark in there. So I was wheeling myself around, and the nice cast member came and opened the thing um, for me. Excuse you. Or sorry, not they don't call them cast members. They call them team members. 
The nice team member. I'm just so used to Disney with cast members. The nice team member came and opened it up so we could get through. Because there wasn't a really long line. There was a little bit of one. Um, but it wasn't super long. But you're going to see me, like, struggling here for a little bit. Because that's just life with a wheelchair. Yeah. And the, the um, I can't think of what they're called off the top of my head. But the... The line segments were very tight, especially, like, with trying to get her wheelchair in through. Yeah, it was just barely wide enough for the wheelchair that I had. Um, Very tight. So what they do is they have you um, order and pay, and then you wait for your number to be called. They owe your name. Or your name, sorry. They ask for your name. Um, and as you can tell inside, it's very, like, dark and wood and, like, all this stuff is pictured in... And it's also very well themed. I will say this with, with Universal, with Harry Potter Land. <laughs> now about the food. We are at Three Broomsticks in Universal Studios Hollywood. We're going to be trying all three types of butterbeer today, plus butterbeer ice cream. Which one will we like best? Okay, so my friend got... One, the shepherd's pie, and I got fish and chips. What did you get? Do you remember? Chicken something. So, the fish and chips was pretty good. Um, it was flaky. It was battery. We also got every type of butterbeer they had. The hot, the cold, the iced, and the ice cream. And then I got a, a pumpkin flavored drink she got the pumpkin juice, juice. I, oh you got the chicken yeah the chicken with the corn yeah no um you are about pumpkin spice okay so jillian is trying pumpkin juice first time ever reaction video it's like cold pumpkin cider it's weird it's really good but it's like cold pumpkin spice cider Alright, my turn to try pumpkin juice for the very first time because I did not get this in Orlando. We're in Hollywood Studios right now. Pumpkin juice, here we go. Um, Hollywood Orlando. It's still called Hollywood Studios. It literally tastes like a liquid pumpkin pie. It's more like, more like pumpkin cider. I mean, yeah, to me it tastes like a liquid pumpkin pie. I'm in Universal Studios Hollywood, and we're having lunch at Three Broomsticks, and I'm having fish and chips. Here's my fish. It's really pretty flaky and very battery, um, so if you really like that type of fish and chips, you will really like this. The flavor's really good. I put a squeeze of lemon on it, some malt vinegar. This is what she means by chips. <laughs> it's really good. If you don't know, chips in Europe are fries. And they're pretty thick fries. And today's National Ketchup Day, so. <laughs> so after we tried the hot, the iced, the regular, and the ice cream, my favorite is still the hot. Um, mine ended up being the ice cream, and then the hot, and then the cold, and then the frozen, because the cold <laughs> and the frozen were just weird to me, and like weird textures, and after a and when the frozen started melting, it was yeah, yeah. She didn't like it. Um, so you we, didn't like it either. Don't start. Well, I figured it out in Orlando, though. Pretty much, my favorite was the hot. The only one I hadn't had was the regular at that point, but now I've had it. So, and we've had the ice cream, which the ice cream is really good. Yeah, the ice cream wasn't bad. And we met the Scooby Gang. Yes, we got to meet Scooby, and Jillian got to tell Velma she was her favorite. And then I offended Daphne. <laughs> and when she told Velma she was her favorite, Daphne, Miss Daphne, said, Well, I'm glad I'm not smart, because that would have offended me if I understood what you said, or something to that. Because I... Because I, I told Velma because she's the smart one. <laughs> that she's her favorite. So Daphne said, oh, I'm glad I'm not smart because that would have offended me then. <laughs> I was like, oh, 
<laughs> and then Fred and Shaggy gave me a look like, how could you? <laughs> <laughs> Which made the whole thing better. I got to meet and hug a minion. I was so happy. Mom, I, mom, mom saw the minion and like took off, and I was like, "Wait, where, where'd she go? <laughs> what, what happened?" And then, and then I saw the minion. And I was like, "Oh, there she is." <laughs> minion, minion. Um, yeah, I was so happy. I minions are one of my favorite. I don't like. Despicable Me, but I love the Minions movie, and I love the Minions. She will watch Despicable Me specifically for the scenes with the Minions. No, I won't. I'll just watch the Minions movie. And I have not seen the new one yet, but hopefully soon. Banana! (laughs) Banana! This is the the (laughs) intro on all the Despicable Me movies and the Minion movies. So, yeah, it, I was so excited to be able to hug the minion. Um, Secret Life of Pets was very adorable. It was. You end up where you go through this machine that transforms you into a puppy. And and then you end up getting adopted by humans. You do at the end. And I have to say, I was a rather cute puppy. And if you raise your hand, it will raise the puppy's paw. If you turn your head, it will turn the puppy's head. If you I, shake your head back and forth, it will shake. Oh, yeah, here's 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 part of the cue for... Um, so they have an elevator for people in wheelchairs. Um, yep. I don't know if you can take mobility scooters in. I forgot to ask. But probably not normally. With Universal, you have to change to an attraction wheelchair. Um, and they do have an elevator. So this is back, <clears throat> excuse me, where the elevator was. So this is technically backstage. It is. And the cast member, sorry, team members were there to help us. Um, Because technically guests are not supposed to be back here. But look at all the doors because it's an apartment complex, right? So they're all like apartment doors. Isn't that cute? And they're theming. And then the and then I was I was very disappointed that the elevator door is just brown. <laughs> it's just an elevator. That... I was I was kind of disappointed. Well, in a regular apartment complex, if there's an elevator, you have all the the doors, and then the elevator yeah. is just the elevator. Yeah. So well, I don't know what you were expecting. I don't know. Close up of Jillian's <laughs> shirt, and um, my my very purple supernatural minion shirt, um. <laughs> And there I am. Dancing. And so, yes, they do have first visit buttons and birthday buttons at Universal if you are going to Universal and it's your first time. Or if you're going and it's your birthday, you can get buttons at Universal, too. So make sure you... And uh, People mom, grab me all the time and pull me when I'm trying to wheel myself and it goes crazy. Yeah. I'm just like... <laughs> can you not? <laughs> like, Whatever. So, they do have a conveyor, which this is a, um, uh, what's it called? Where the ride keeps going while you get on it. Omnimover? Yeah, Omnimover. It's an Omnimover attraction. So, and when you come out of the elevator, you just kind of get in line. I remembered a word. You did. And it was the correct word. It was. (laughs) So, you can have them stop it. They do have a wheelchair, a wave vehicle, a wheelchair accessible vehicle. Um, and my wheelchair was a little bit too big to fit on it, so we had to, I had to transfer to a universal wheelchair to get on it. And I was already trapped in the car, so I was useless. Yeah, because the person going with you has to get on first, like, a lot of the rides are. Um, and then they put the wheelchair up the ramp and get you up there. Um trying to see what else do we need to say about secret life of pets it's super cute but did you did you put our 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 photo in here not yet but i will okay that was that was a very cute photo and then so we did lunch (laughs) we did lunch and then we went back for our return time for secret life of pets then we went back into the wizarding world to go explore it a little bit more we went into honey dukes and got some stuff we yeah so we we went we went from Secret Life of Pets 
to Three Broomsticks, back to Secret Life of Pets, back, back to, to the Wizarding <laughs> World. <laughs> we we just kept going back and forth, and we after after we got through Honey Dukes, um, and we were is when we decided pretty much to leave because it was already like later than we had planned on staying yeah. essentially because we were delayed getting there and how long the uber and how long the uber took us to even get there like how long was it going to take us to get back to our hotel so and we were all kind of cranky and needed a nap we did but we didn't really get one <laughs> no we essentially went right into disneyland from there yeah um but well, we were all very cranky and it, the theming you know, is very good yes. with the Wizarding World. They do have test seats for uh, attractions there at Universal. A lot of their attractions are not very fluffy friendly. Just they, as an FYI. Yes. So you want to use attraction test seats to test the restraint systems because... Before you get into the queue. I mean, they... You can still go through the queue on any of the attractions at Universal... They do have an exit if you want to just see the queue, which um, the Secret Life of Pets one is very themed. So to everything from the Secret Life of Pets, it is so cute. And you get to talk to the dogs. I mean, the not two really. main dogs. Yeah. I, I mean, mean, not really, but like they talk about how you look as um, incoming puppies and. Whether or not you'll be able to be adopted. and Oh, it's so cute. I could probably sit there for like an hour and just watch them and be entertained. Um, they have books in shelving and stuff in there. It's super cute. They do have um, ECVs you can rent. They're like the old ones Disneyland used to have. Um, Me in front of Hogwarts Castle because can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was doing pictures of her. Um, so they do have wheelchairs and mobility scooters if you need to rent. They uh, they do have strollers. Um, the downtown Universal area, City Walk, has restaurants and stores you can go into. We had gotten donuts the first day my friend and I were there from um, Voodoo. And... Neither one of us were super impressed with Voodoo. Well, Voodoo's... I mean, they're good, but they're like any other donuts. The only thing is they have some weird, wacky flavors sometimes, which are kind of cool. I tried the mango one. I did not like the mango one. Um, but they have some weird, wacky flavors you can try. I got a Tufels. You got a what? A Tufels. A Tufels? What's a Tufels? A Toothless. <laughs> Yes, but you got that from Orlando. Well, no, I didn't get it. You got it. Yes. Um, but I got it. We did go into the Universal store and look at some merch in there. Um, I got a t-shirt that has Toothless on it. I don't know where that is. did. And there's lots there. When we were there, this was June, so it was right when the new... Jurassic oh, yeah. Park was coming out, oh, so there was a ton. So excited about it! Ton of Jurassic Park mer merch. Oh, I'm so excited! I cannot wait to see that. And we haven't seen that one yet either. If you, if you've seen it, seen it, no spoilers. <laughs> no spoilers in comments. No spoilers in DMs. No, no spoilers. We don't we don't tolerate spoilers. <laughs> we don't talk about spoilers. Wrong IP. Oh. <laughs> That's a Disney movie, Mom. Well, I'm normally talking about Disney stuff. Um, but it was so much fun, like, going to Universal and seeing what Universal was like firsthand versus just watching videos on it. Honestly. Definitely need more than a couple of hours there. Yes. I really wanted to go down to the other lower lot to go on the um, tram ride, but... We were all hot and tired and cranky and decided to leave. And... <laughs> Honestly, we needed to get back to Disney um, because of the stuff that was going on that we needed to get for Disney. Like, we needed to get back to Disneyland because that's where we were there for. That really. was the whole reason we went was for Disneyland. But we were like, eh, we got some time to kill on this day. Let's go to Universal. Well, we didn't have time to kill exactly, but I thought, well, since we're here, and let's go. Let's, let's go ahead and do this. Let's go. 
so... And it kind of turned out to be a little bit of a waste of time, because we really didn't do anything. No, we only got to do a th- couple of things, but it was still fun. We still had fun. It was still something that I want to go back to and see. So, I should probably ask this question now. Three broomsticks, or... Ariel's Grotto. They're not even close, like, trying to compare them, Jillian. That was the only restaurant I could come up with <laughs> off the top of my head. Well, Three Broomsticks would be closer to, like, it's a quick service, so it would be closer um, to, like... French Market. Yeah, something like that. Three, but the food's completely different. Three Broomsticks or French Market. It's completely different. Seeming Once, wise. Seeming-wise. The next time we go to um, Disney World and Epcot, we got to try the fish from that cart. We haven't tried that yet. And then we'll have to compare the fish from there, the cart in England. I want to go to Crown and, Crown and Apple? Crown and... Rose and Crown? Crown? Yeah, that one. <laughs> Next time we go to Epcot. So, yeah, they I had this whole store. I remember it had crown in it. <laughs> yeah, I get points for that. They had this whole store of socks. Like, <laughs> it was just socks. That's it. And Julia's like, I gotta go look at the socks. I gotta look. I gotta look. It's socks. It's just a whole store of nothing but socks. There was some cool ones in there. There was some Mario. Um, there was some, some dino ones. There were some cool ones. There were some cool socks in there. There was a bunch of ho- uh, Harry Potter ones. So, have you been to Universal Studios in Hollywood yet? What was your favorite part? If you have been, let us know in the comments. We did get dropped off in the garage. Um, so, we had some pictures of the garage. And they have it kind of themed to the villains and monsters and stuff. Um... We did like going. We're going to have to go back. There was so much that um, we did and had so much fun doing and would love to do again. So thank you so much for watching. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. We're trying to get to our next subscriber. There was, there was us and puppies. And have a magical day. Be sure to hit that like and subscribe and click the bell icon to be notified when we upload a new video or go live. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and Pinterest. You can support us on our Patreon. We have tiers starting at $1 per month. Thank Thank you you for for all your support. support. If you want to see more, click the video in your right-hand corner.